Hi, this is Laura Tate with Cracker Jack Scribe, and today I'm going to show you how to use Trello, a project and scheduling app to manage projects, um, whether they're at home projects, whether you know managing your shopping or household chores, or you can use Trello to for work, which is what I do. I use Trello to manage my website projects, my social media projects for different clients, as well as for myself and other creative projects. It's really one of the best tools. I started using it uh, about two years ago, but I recently, in this past year, really learned how to use it to really fully manage projects. I used to have to use two or three different apps and tools to track projects, to um, create assignments and due dates and so on. But now with Trello, it's all in one place. So Trello is like paper index cards, ex except in a uh, digital format. With paper index cards, you would, um, have different cards and write to-do lists on them. Well, with Trello, it's a little advanced. You have boards and each board has a series of lists that you can create. These are to, your to-do lists. And each list has a card. These are all cards. So this is basically my to-do list for blog ideas. Um, for my personal blog, I put my, all my ideas here and then assigned blogs here. These are each cards. And on the cards, you have your description, you can label it, as you see, I put red for must do. You can assign uh, each card a due date. And um, you can also assign members, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. And you can attach uh, images or any kind of documents or links through your computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, Box OneDrive, uh, and attach it if it's relevant to your um, card project. And checklists, you can add a checklist. For instance, if we have a blog, and I'm going to add a checklist and I want it to have um, the headline, the keyword, and then I want them to have the content, um, informative, so I'm just writing, writing anything right now. Um, and bullet points, whatever, I'm putting just a couple things and uh, image or video. So I can create a list to go with this particular blog post idea. I'm just making up whatever it might not make sense right now. And then if somebody works on a list, they can check it off. Um, so that's basically in a nutshell, you have your cards and your board and you can assign members and assign due dates. So I'll go a little in depth now. So the way I use it to manage my blog posts, I'll um, create a, a board with the ideas. And then if somebody, uh, if we decide, um, I'll a vote button, you have this vote button. Um, if you approve um, projects by committee, you can have um, all your team members vote on it. Um, okay, so the way I use it for uh, scheduling my blog posts, uh, say for instance, we decide, okay, this is a must do. So I'm going to assign somebody. Uh, there's no other team members except for me right now assigned to this board. So I'm going to add myself and then I'm going to put a due date. Of course, it's got to be in the future. What are we now? It's already October, fly, and I can give myself a due date and save that. And then I can move it either by clicking this, and I can move it to assigned, or what's great about Trello is you can just click and drag. So that's been assigned to me. And then when it's done, I can click and drag it to done. And I can also change the um, color labeling. To uh, invite a member to a person who is not signed up to Trello, you just click show menu and you can invite them by um, email and just type in their email address here. Or if you want to invite an existing member, you can start typing. And here are people who are subscribed to Trello. Now, what you must be careful about is that Trello can be a public, your, your boards that you create on Trello can be public. You have to make sure if you don't want anybody to see your projects that here it's private. So you can have a private board that only you and your team members see, or if you created a team where there are several boards that belong to it, all team members can see all the boards or you can make it public. Now let's go into teams. You create a team. For instance, I use teams for my website project. So all my website, my um, developer and I share this board and when I add, when I'm going to add uh, him to a card, I start looking for him and there I can add him right there. 
And once he's added to this card, he'll be notified. And it's like, okay, this this is a, a new project, a new assignment, a new task, and has a, a due date. So let's go back to the teams. Create a new team. You can go here, can, you can create a board, or you can create a personal team, or you can create a business team. So let's create a new team. I'm just gonna call it a new team. You can describe it if you want and create the team. And now you have a team. Now business teams cost on Trello, so if you don't want to pay, then you're going to create a personal team. So I'll call this new team. And then you've got your new team. You can add your members here. If they're not on here, you can add them by name or email. And then once you have your team assembled, you can create your board. Um, and we're going to call this website one. And maybe it's a website project that we're working on. And then we have my first list. So I'm going to um, create my first list. And then this list, I'm going to add a card. Um, Call it color scheme and layout and site map. I'm just listing different things. So here I can start creating the things that we need to get done for the website. So for color scheme, um, maybe colors for a website. This will be the board that describes what the colors are going to be on our new website project. And I can attach a, perhaps a link to a color palette um, or another website that will show the team the colors that we're looking at for this particular project. And if I want to assign somebody to this board, I will start searching for their name and add them here. And for instance, if we have to decide on colors by a certain due date, I'll uh, do that and assign a due date. And what's great about Trello is that you can view this in a calendar uh, format. I won't view that one in calendar format. I'll go back to this to show you. Uh, Trello has what they call power-ups, extra tools that you can add to your boards, like the calendar view. And you can either pay for these extras or if they have a um, an incentive, if you get new people to sign up to Trello, which you can get these extra apps and tools on Trello for free. But here with this blog um, board, you can see all the assignments, the past assignments and the upcoming assignments. So if you want to see what's coming down the pipe, you can just click on the calendar view. And that's it in a nutshell on how to use Trello uh, to manage your projects. Like you can manage anything. For instance, if you're uh, working on a home design project and you want to have all your boards here for the landscaping, for the interior, for the bathroom, and everything you need to have done and put due dates and invite your contractor or your interior designer or whoever is working with you, you can use these um, boards to manage your projects. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, you can follow up and email me at laura at crackerjackscribe.com. Sign up for my blog if you would like to be notified when new blog posts about social media and content marketing and management are out. I'm always writing posts most of the time on a weekly basis, giving you tips and advice on how to maximize your use of social media and content to increase your web presence. Thanks.